welcome back. This is Kench1913. And I'm Ghost of Volumes. And we are Let's Playing Hexen. I was, I almost said Breath of Fire. But we're not playing that, Dan. Dan wouldn't be involved in that game. Yeah. That's a Pete only game. Yeah, Pete only. Dan only gets involved when it's games that he kind of knows. I, kinda. Actually, I that's kind of a lie because I came over to your house yesterday and there was a sign on the door that said, No Dan's Allowed. Yeah, I and I walked away with my head hanging and I was all just depressed. And then I went to this playground and I sat on this swing set next to an empty swing and I was just swinging there and the swing next to me was empty. Uh -huh. And uh, I was I was pretty crushed, Pete. I was pretty crushed. I yeah, yeah, say. yeah. I remember. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that time that you were like fell into a pit, mm -hmm. and then we threw you a sandwich. Remember, and it was a pretty big sandwich. Yeah. We told you, hey, laugh that out, f word, and then you were like, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Why would? You, why? Why? And we said because uh, Dan. There are no more Dan's allowed. Like one Dan, not two. Yeah. I and, hear you. And we already had our friend Dan Gene, and he's not on the He's actually Dan Cariolo. No, not Dan Giannini. No, not Dan Giannini. I went to, a, to school with a Dan Giannini, and I think it might be the same Dan Giannini. Yeah, Gini. it is the same Dan Giannini. Huh. What's he up to these days? I don't know, Dan. I, we killed him off after we decided to let you win. Huh? You I, did? I, yeah. You yeah. murdered one of your friends. Uh, he wasn't friends. really my friend. The only thing that he had in common with me, besides pooping and having hair, was that he had the same birthday. Was he a model? Him. Yes, he was, actually. That's interesting. So, Pete. Yeah. Am I to believe that if you come up with somebody like who's a better friend than me, that you're going to murder uh, me? If I do find another Dan that's like way cooler than you, like let, let, he's got like a ton of money and he's got like he's got like I don't know what uh, like a personality like I can't stop <clears throat> listening to him. Uh huh. I'm sorry, Dan. You might have to die. Oh man. Unless you can figure out some way to Unless make... I can prove that I'm a better friend. Yeah, well, no. You, if you can figure out some way to make him change his name. Or maybe you could change your name. And you could be called uh, Tito or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to be Tito. Yeah, Tito Brown. That's not bad. That's not that's Yeah, not nice I would be, Tito I'd be Brown. awesome. I'd be like, I'd be, not only would I be cool, but I think I'd also be... Like, you could start a thing. Yeah. Like a music thing and be like Tito Bla Brown sings the blues. Tito Brown, you know, you could fucking think of cool shit you could do. That would be fucking cool, man. You know, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. I I probably would I probably would never date somebody named who, Tito Brown. No, who was dating somebody else until that that thing was over. But what if somebody left you left somebody else to be with you? Yeah. Would you find that to be acceptable? It's coming up out of the ground. So, what, how, how does the situation go? Somebody left another person to date you. Yeah. Would you ex would that you find that to be acceptable or would unacceptable? What's your situation? Yeah, you're, you're I'm not uh, in a situation, but I was thinking about this the other day. Like, oh. I forget who was talking about it, but somebody was talking about it, and I was thinking, well, if somebody would leave somebody else to be with me, then why wouldn't they leave me to be with somebody else? Just as well, easily. Well, that, that that's that's like the vicious cycle right there. I would I would personally, I don't know if they you know, fuck if they want to be with me, man, and they left whoever they were with because they were either a unhappy or whatever, and they just fucking, I'd be pumped. I'd be like, but fuck how yeah. much how much loyalty would you expect? Like, you probably can't expect a lot apparently since you left. But I wonder, like, is that just par for the course? Like. People could just leave you at any time. I guess. I mean, if they're dickheads, you uh, know, without, you know, without warning, I, I don't know. Oh, what's happening? That's a good. That's a good question, man. Um, I don't know. It, like, what would see? I need to know a little bit more information. Like, were we hanging out before and like having a good time? And she was like, oh, I'm, I'm in. A, I'm already in a relationship, but she was having like more, like you know, she was telling you how she was having way more fun with you and whatnot. Yeah, and if it did happen to you, like how disappointed should you be? Like, what if she left me for someone else? Yeah, would it be, be like, like, would you be like, this person's a douchebag, or like, or just would she would, just be like, oh, maybe that's just the way it goes, like that maybe I just maybe she just liked this person better, and yeah. with, like how how should you feel? Like that's always bugged me. Like how do you 
I would be pretty ticked off, but then again, but should like, you be? Yeah, you should be a little bit, but then you'd be like, eh. You'd have to realize that you know she fucking did the same thing to hang out with you, so it's kind of like it's she, if it's if not it, expected, but it's not it's not fucking surprising. You know what I mean? Let's say another person. Let's say a person who didn't do it to someone else first did it to you. Should you be upset about it then? Oh, so a person who didn't do what? They didn't... Like, you didn't leave someone else to be with you, but then left you to be with someone else. I would be mad. Yeah, what are you going to do? I would want to know why. Usually, I would want to know why. That's interesting. But, like, I, I... No, I would be mad. I would even be... I would be mad at even the person who left someone to be with me, and then eventually they left me to be with someone else. I would be mad, too, but then you got to think about it. You know, I'm like, man, you know, some... Maybe something's wrong with her, Dan. But it, maybe it's like your it's our problem. Like maybe just that's just a hard situation to get to deal with and like you would be a better person if you could deal with it. Yeah, maybe. Uh I don't know. That's a good question. I it's probably not your fault unless like I don't know, Dan. Uh it, you, that's when you really got to start asking some questions there like uh yeah i guess you need the specifics before yeah. you can answer oh look at that there's where you put in the bullshit yeah it's, it's like it's kind of like one of those games where you where you like you have the, a circle and a triangle and a square when you're a little baby and you learn your shapes and you put them in there uh-huh that's like that's how much lower than indiana jones is on the arch archaeological uh, spectrum we are because like we're i'm kind of like a barbarian and we already stated that he was a horrible archaeologist he's kind of like He's a barbarian archaeologist, so he's kind of like this some kind of weird bar archaeologist, and he, the, the kinds of puzzles that he solves are like puzzles that a little child could solve. Like Indiana Jones, he's got to like make a, get a ruby and fasten it to this, this amulet and put yeah, it on yeah, a yeah. stick that's so many, sh you know, because dam's high or whatever it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just looking for like little puzzle pieces and then inserting them into a hole. Yeah, that sounds like a way better plan to do than, uh, than, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, well, then whatever. Hmm, well, it's easier than what Indiana Jones Yeah, well, yeah, the barbarian, he's not smart. He didn't go to archaeological school. Yeah, punching people in the face. Yeah, there you go, Dan. Anyways, Dan, actually, uh, that was a good question, but I actually had a, a topic that I was going to talk to you about, Dan. What's that? And it basically, is this going to be the, uh, the, you're in the new area? Um, this is like the entryway to it. Oh, cool. Anyways, Dan, I was actually going to talk to you about stand-up comedy. Alright. Alright, as you were mentioning before, uh, previously some time ago. Whoa, look at this, huh? It's all fancy and shit. Whoa. Where'd that guy come from? Why is he brown? Because they're poison brown. No. Anyways, Dan, I was thinking, you know, you've always, you've been talking about how you want to do stand-up comedy. You know what I think what kind of stand-up comedy would be, what stand-up style would be great for you, Dan? What? I think you would have to be a comedian with a guitar. Yeah? Yeah, because you can write songs, right? And I'm sure if you don't, if you if you try not to take your songs too seriously, I bet you can come up with a couple funny songs. I kind of like serious songs, though. Yeah, but funny songs are fun too. I guess, but you, but like, I feel like the the quality of musicianship that you would have with a funny song just isn't at the level where I would like to tr try to be. Mm -hmm. Like you, when you when you're writing a funny song, like I imagine you have to write like a this goofy do, 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 do. nah and but like i like to play rock songs that are like a little more that sound a little bit darker or that are a little more haunting or ghostly or, yeah, or yeah, weird yeah. and like i feel like you can't do a funny song with that kind of background music uh i don't know tenacious D, they're like a rock band and they uh they're like funny and yeah but their their musicianship from what i hear is just like it's overly strummy, and I'm not really a strumming kind of guitarist. Like, I tend to like riffs and stuff. Yeah. You know, stuff with a little more emotion than just strummy, strum, strum, strum. What about Stephen Byrne? You ever hear of him? He does uh, music. Stephen Byrne does? Yes. No, 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 no. Uh, John Lejoie? No, 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 no. Yeah, he does that too, but no. Uh, what the hell is his name? I can't think of it. That fucking guy. He's a 
comedian. He does the songs. He sings and stuff. He does like uh, Stephen. Zach Galifianakis. No, he does music too, though. Uh, but um, fucking whore. If you people remember what his name is, a good Tiger King guy. Let me look. Steven, let's say Tyler right now. He does, and he does pretty funny uh, songs. He's like, if you would be a superhero, I would be blah, blah, boy. Blah, 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 blah. Steven Lynch. There we go. Thank you, everyone. Well, they answered us quickly. The episode's not even out yet, and they answered us. Oh, it's beautiful. No one, if no one put anything, I'm just going to thank everyone anyways. No, you know what? If no one put anyone, F you guys. I'm not putting anyone. Yeah, Stephen Lynch, he uses a guitar, Dan, and he sings songs that are funny. And they're actually fairly good with music and stuff. And he, like, plays, and then he, like, and then he, like jerks off on stage. It's pretty cool. That's what you could do, Dan. Yeah, I'm gonna masturbate on stage next time. Yeah, I try that's to... how you end the show. But your, yeah, your uh, final punchline should be like. Uh, I wonder. Ugh, there's something like that. And that's how you end the I wonder. Uh, I, I imagine writing a comedic song would be much harder than stand up, because like we were saying before, like I try to come up with these comedic premises. And, and like sometimes when I'm just making things up on the on the fly, it's yeah. so much funnier than when I just try to write yeah, something. Yeah, but the thing is, man, you can make a great song. Like let's say you make a love song, all right? All right, and it's a love song, and and you talk about all these features on this thing that you love. You never mention what this thing is until the very end, where you mention it's a goat. Are you kidding me, Dan? Man, you got a kid that whatever. I don't know, Dan. You think of it, and then you can sing a song in, in A minor. Is A minor a real thing? Yeah. yeah but like I was saying before, like I look when I was talking about that whole 69ing a goat thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, in my like when I was thinking about that before, it seemed like oh that's a pretty funny concept. But then when I said it, I felt like it just died. Well, like we don't we don't have we can't hear what our listeners are how they're reacting, so we don't always know whether something bombs or not. But I felt like that thing just sucked all the air out of the room as if it was gonna bomb when I said it and like it's kind of weird like and if I'm gonna go through the effort of writing a song it almost seems like it would be much more convoluted and, and weird oh, here's but anyway yeah I think if I was gonna try to try some stand-up I'm gonna bomb the first few times out but at least I would uh, it would be more palatable to me anyway. Yeah, you can give it a try. You just know. go out there in the most in the most contrite way you can to Hey I just got back from wherever and boy are my arms tired and then you just take a dump on stage and then that's it. I hope that thing opens up. Yeah. I hate when I throw those Molotars. Oh maybe there's a there's a thing in the corner. Oh he's coming after me. I don't I didn't think they ever came up the stairs. Is he killing them? I hate when I throw it. I hate when I throw it and it doesn't come out. Crap, now those guys are coming. Should I throw another one? I never I always I always end up beating the game with a million of these different, you know, things. Yeah. Oh, crap. You got poisoned by a serpent, Dan. Yeah, I did. A serpent oh. named Wayne. Oh, shit. Didn't, I didn't save it after I threw that Molotar the first time? I guess not, Dan. And I caught it. I bounced off the wall and caught it. Way to go. Does that mean that you didn't use it? Yeah. It's in my possession. I'm not fighting. Oh damn. I hate this part, especially as a barbarian. I hate this part too. Especially as a cleric. Oh a cleric, I would have just fired my ghost gun in there and killed everybody. Yep. That's why I wanted I wanted to fight the graveyard and this part with the ghost gun, because that would be so easy, but now I gotta 
like nickel and dime everybody and try to gain an inch and then fight more people and gain another inch. Let's throw him out there again. Yeah, my special get my special guest slash assistant is cutting wood right now, you know what I mean? Sawn logs. Good. Well I'm trying to do something. Yeah. Beating those guys up. With this huge giant thing that he keeps underneath. His, oh, he got me with it. it that he keeps underneath his leotard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. His loincloth. Yeah, under his loincloth, it's like three to four inches long, and it's deadly. It's deadly, Dan. So deadly. Oops. Yeah, yeah, uh, what's your name, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, Dan, save it. Try something. I think I'm gonna run in there and fight him hand to hand. There you go, Dan. You're supposed to be a man. Are these barbarians are supposed to be men? You're, you're playing like sissy girly guy. Alright, what would Arnold Schwarzenegger say if he saw you? Yeah, see, you did it, Dan. You gotta go in there, head charging, toes curling. That was a sloppy little maneuver that I just did. Yeah, you did, but you won, Dan, and that's all that matters. Alright, because at the end of the day... I guess when you take chances, sometimes you poop your pants. Yeah, at the end of the day, Dan, you gotta jack off Corlax, alright? Yeah. And, uh, you gotta make sure he's happy at the end when he, when he gives you his vinegar strokes. Or his old face. Or whatever the hell he's gonna do. Fire-breathing dragons with an axe. Like whatever these beastly things are. Wait. <laughs> Any more health I can scavenge? <clears throat> oh, look at that. It looks like you're getting closer to the wizard, maybe. This is the, cler the cleric that I have to fight. Uh -oh. I th wait, I think it's the cleric. Yeah, yeah, this is the cleric. He went into the walls. I just see it. <laughs> He's trying to conserve health, but I like those chaos devices. They throw people up against the wall sometimes. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, let's see if you can do it. Well, the cleric isn't, he's not here yet. Oh. No. Go down in this dark, snowy hole. Quite a million of those guys. Uh, well, Dan, you know what? We're gonna have to save that dark, smelly hole for the next time, don't you think? Alright. So this has been Kenshin1913. And Ghosty Films. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.